Hello and welcome my happenstance hoarders. How you doing today? It's Chris and we're talking about the Melting Furnace. This is one of the first towers that you actually, the second tower actually, that you unlock as you play through the game. Uh, if you just look at its stats, it looks really bad. You're like, oh, its attack is low, its cooldown is low, its range isn't that good. On paper, it's just... Ugh. But once you finally get down to brass tacks here, man, it gets pretty good. One of my favorite towers in the game, for sure. So the ability, is really quick, is the Abrasive Heat. Nearby towers gain bonus attack damage. I don't like that they mix these up a little bit. This is actually the middle upgrade. This is the right side, and this is the left side. So just a little goofy that they did that. But Abrasive Heat allows... Uh, Bonus attack damage to things that are nearby. A little difficult to use. Uh, I, I end up not using it all that much, mostly because my tower isn't close enough to other towers. But if you do make them close enough, it ends up being really solid. The Burning Fuel 1 is excellente. Delicious. Speeds it up for a quote-unquote short duration, but it's actually pretty long. And then the cooldown's not that much longer than that, so you actually have it happen quite often with the Burning Fuel here, especially if you're able to stun some guys in the range. And then, last but not least, the Red Hot Coal throws hot coal at burdens and deals damage to enemies standing on them. Basically, it just throws out like a, a barrage kind of throughout the entire... Uh, uh, radius of where the tower normally attacks. So it does a good amount of damage. Our plan on Odal Farmlands, again, I've got my disclaimer for you guys. Uh, if you... Well, you can beat the entire game, even on Impossible, without spending a single dollar besides buying the game. So don't feel like you need to pay a bunch of money on the towers if you don't want to. But of course, if you like the cool fact, you like some fun towers in there, feel free to spend the money on them. Alright, so we're going to be building the furnace here. Uh, you know, as, as a low-level tower, actually pretty bad. You don't really want to use them as a low-tier tower. You only want to use them as a high-tier tower. Uh, I don't know. He just ends up being really bad, especially with the slow attack and everything. Like, even a third tier is just sort of meh. you got to get him up to that fourth tier to make him worthwhile. 45 to 55 damage right here on every single unit in his range. And then... Abilities. Oh, baby, I love the abilities on this thing. One of my, some of my favorite abilities. They don't even seem like they're that good, but they just are. Uh, definitely the Burning Fuel Man. 100% Burning Fuel. You can see his normal attack right now. It's just boom, kabloom, kabloom. It's like, it's pretty freaking slow, right? It doesn't look like it's doing all that much damage, but you have to combine this tower with other uh, stalling towers. So usually you'd put an orc den next to them, or maybe a mausoleum or something like that with some gargoyles in the way. Make sure you use your reinforcements a little bit, even pop your hero behind these guys to do some cleanup damage. But overall, it's just a really solid tower as it currently is. Then you can add the red hot coal, and the, it, it was weird though, that the first red hot coal actually costs less than the second red hot coal when it deals 50 damage and then goes on only to 80 damage. I felt like that was a little bit of a a little bit of a misstep from these guys. Now keep in mind, even though this is like an artillery tower, it still does physical damage, not magic damage. So, um, you know, obviously you're going to want to use your, you know, anybody with armor is going to be able to tank some of this stuff. There we go, we get the red hot coals flying out right there. It's a slow burning damage, not super effective, but that's not what this guy's meant to do. He's not meant to kill anybody who's really, really strong. What he's meant to do is kill all of the weak units for you. And I think that's one thing that people are going to miss misunderstand about this tower. He's bad against strong units. He is. He kills all the weak units. So all these crappy little poop faces coming out right now, we're just gonna poof, destroy them. All over the place. But once you get to the bigger, badder, stronger units, the more health they have. 500, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000. Boss people! Oh my god, the bosses freaking suck to deal with. Uh, so they're all... Um, uh, this thing's terrible for it, but for everybody else, he ends up being rock frickin' solid. And that's why I love him. Even against bosses, you can clean up all the crappy units underneath the bosses and stuff like that. But here we go, you get the red hot coals coming in, or not the red hot coals, the, uh, the burning fuel right over here. You can see it's turning red, it's gonna just blast a lot faster, and every single time you blast, you also stun all of the units inside. It doesn't seem like it matters all that much, but it really does. Uh, if you combine this guy with the right towers, he ends up being un unbelievably wonderful as an addition to your team. Um, I, I just straight up love him. And then don't forget, you can also get the Abrasive Heat, which gains 15% bonus and 30% bonus to towers near them. So if I put down, like, a, a Mausoleum or something like that, you can see this guy's gonna have the extra bonus damage. You can see it on, like, the bottom of the tower itself. It's got the little sword down there. Um... If I had to give this tower a rating, I would probably give it like an 8 out of 10. I, I really enjoy it. I feel like it's a, 
a great addition to your team if you use it properly. You gotta put it in the right spot. It's even got a pretty decent range here. So if you put it in the right spot like this, it's gonna be doing a pretty good job. Um, it is a little difficult to find good spots to put it. I do, I do agree with some people that say that there's just not that many great spots to put it. But at the same time, even if you're only, uh, only hurting maybe, I don't know, 50% of, of the possible land that you can hurt, that's good enough for me. You know, like even this area, this is fine. Put a furnace there. Put a furnace here. These are, these are fine spots to, to kill the units in. Um... If you guys enjoyed my video, make sure you press the like button for me. If you think I did a bad job and I'm, I'm overestimating the furnace's abilities or something like that, feel free to press the dislike button. I, I want to know that you guys uh, are, are, are putting me in my place, man. Make sure I'm giving you guys some good reviews over here. But if you do enjoy my videos, press that like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't. And of course, have a super duper delicious day.